In the annals of 17th century religious history, a scandal emerged from the shadows of an Italian convent, challenging perceptions of holiness and revealing the dark secrets behind the convent walls. Benedetta Carlini, a charismatic and deeply devout nun, rose to the position of abbess in the convent of Picchia, proclaiming to have experienced divine visions and direct communications with celestial beings. However, what appeared to be a testimony of virtue and piety was overshadowed by shocking accusations of misconduct and spiritual manipulation. This video explores in detail the turbulent spiritual journey and controversies surrounding Benedetta Carlini, shedding light on the complex intertwining of faith, power and morality in the context of Renaissance Italy. The story of Benedetta Carlini and Bartolomea. It is a fascinating and complex case of sexuality, power and religion in 17th century Italy. Here the sexual scandal that marked the lives of these two nuns and the consequences of their actions are detailed in more detail. Context of the Bartolomea and Benedetta sex scandal. Bartolomea Crivelli, a young nun in the Pezia convent, was the main accuser in the case against Benedetta, according to Bartolomea. Benedetta forced her to engage in sexual acts that included caressing and penetration. These actions, according to Benedetta, were divine commands transmitted through the angel Splenditello, the role of Splenditello. Benedetta claimed to be possessed by an angel named Splenditello. According to her testimonies, this angel controlled her during certain periods, making her behave differently and justifying sexual acts as part of a divine mission. Splenditello supposedly ordered Benedetta to unite carnally with Bartholomew to fulfill the divine will. Confessions of Bartolomea Bartolomea detailed in her confessions how Benedetta approached her during the night. Assuring that it was the angel who spoke and acted through her, Benedetta, in a state of trance, often used a masculine tone of voice which reinforced Bartholomew's belief that it was really the angel who was present. Benedetta's defense. During interrogations, Benedetta defended her actions, stating that she was under the control of the angel and that the visions and trances were evidence of her holiness. He claimed that mystical experiences were genuine and that the angel's orders were impossible to disobey. Investigation and trial. Ecclesiastical investigation. Upon learning of the allegations, the ecclesiastical authorities conducted a rigorous investigation. The church, already on guard due to other cases of heresy and deviant behavior, took the accusations very seriously. Investigators examined the testimonies of Bartolomea and other nuns, as well as Benedetta's mystical experiences. Finally, the church stated that Benedetta had not only engaged in inappropriate sexual conduct, but also abused her position of power and spiritual authority to manipulate Bartholomew and possibly other nuns. She was convicted of heresy and immoral conduct, which resulted in her dismissal as abbess and her confinement in a cell within the convent for the rest of her life. Consequences and repercussions impact on the convent. The scandal seriously affected the reputation of the Pescia convent, causing distrust towards mystical experiences and the apparent sanctity of the nuns. The church took steps to more strictly control and supervise activities within convents to prevent future scandals. Historical and cultural legacy. The history of Benedetta and Bartolomea has been the subject of numerous historical and cultural studies. Judith C. Brown, in her book, I Modest Acts, the Life of a Lesbian Non in Renaissance Italy, explores the case in detail, providing an academic view of sexuality and mysticism in the religious context of the time. Also, Paul Verhoeven's recent film, Venedetta. It has brought this fascinating story back into focus, examining the themes of faith, power and desire from a contemporary perspective. The case of Benedetta Carlini remains a notable example of how power dynamics and sexual repression can manifest itself in strict religious settings and as accusations of heresy and sexual deviation. They were managed by the church in the period of the Counter-Reformation. The life of Benedetta Carlini not only illustrates the ambiguous boundaries between holiness and transgression in the religious realm, but also raises ongoing questions about power, authority and vulnerability within ecclesiastical institutions. His story reminds us that even in environments of supposed spiritual purity, there are human complexities that can lead to morally murky and conflictive situations. This historical account invites us to reflect on how religious leaders can influence and manipulate under the pretext of a special connection with the divine. It encourages us to question power structures and ethics within any community, always seeking transparency and integrity. As we explore the life of Benedetta Carlini, let's consider how we can apply historical lessons to our own context. Let us promote justice, equality and respect in our daily interactions, fostering environments where truth and dignity are always priorities. Share this video to continue the conversation about ethics, power and faith in history and in our current society.